Hey, Legasis, what's up, dude? Joanna, how are you? Mom's here. I feel like I got some in my eye. I'm keeping my eyes open. Mm. Good day. I hope that's better. We'll find out in a minute. My family might still be alive, and you're going to stand here and do nothing? Take over. I mean, you can, you can get it on PC like I'm playing it. If it's, uh, if you've got a computer capable of playing it, the reviews scare you. Well, I was talking about this yesterday. The company that did the port from PS4 to PC was not Guerrilla Games. It was another company, and after it came out, Guerrilla Games said that uh, they're fixing it. They, they kind of stood up and they were like, the PC port sucks, we're going to fix it. And they released one patch, which fixed a couple of, like, like crippling, easy-to-find errors. Um, and introduced a couple of tools to report bugs back to them. And then they said there's supposed to be another patch at the end of this week. To fix the majority of issues, hopefully. But, I mean, I've, I've played it since day one, it's been great. I mean, it stutters a lot, but that's just CPU usage problems, and they're going to fix that. Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. Basically, if you have a... A mid-range gaming computer or better you should be fine to, to physically play the game uh, if you're streaming it you're gonna have a little bit of issue because it's it's a CPU hog right now so as I play you'll see some stuttering and stuff there's nothing I can do about that what kind of machines where did they come from a ravager by the Sun how it cut down those guards and a pack of watchers came with it the Sun King warned us that he could no longer protect freeholds beyond the valley, but her father never saw this coming. You have a 1070 and a 7700K? Yeah, you should be able to you, you should be able to play the game, I would say, on medium settings without without streaming and not really have any problems. Tell me more about the estate. My this is medium right here, quarries, by the way. And he's put his spoils into the estate. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures. But what about the people there? Of course. Their lives are all that matter. My father and sister, plus a dozen guards and servants. I hope they survived. I was playing on high originally, and it was fine, but it had more stutter. So I knocked it down to medium, which reduced some of it. I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will. Oh, thank you. Oh, please, be careful. Those machines are deadly. Yeah, I'm playing at 1080. I don't play anything higher than 1080. Leave the rest. Because I only stream at 720, so why play it? If I played at 4K and then streamed at 720, that would, like, cripple my computer because it would have to be downscaling 4K to 720, which is a huge drop. Road. My computer could not stream like that.
But like I'm not I'm not running on some fancy like three thousand dollar computer either, so you don't need a, a super powerful machine to play the game. Good for an old remedy. Do you think it's possible to get a decent PC that would run this for under 800 bucks? Not right now. Maybe after the, uh, maybe after the patches. Charger, I'm, I'm not scared of you. Yeah, you're in the US. Yeah, you should be able to get a computer for 800 bucks that could play this, okay? The reason I'm having it, m the majority of my issues is because I'm streaming at the same time. So I'm playing a game. It has some, Which gets past them. some CPU problems, and I'm trying to downscale it and stream it all at the same time. And so they're stuttering. the flower. That was a little unfair. I was on a tightrope and that fool just knocked me right off. All right, anyway, well, we got the, uh, we got the flower. That's good enough. Honor the fallen, kill the glint hawks. That's a mission. <gasps> what? Okay. That's still the level 34 corrupted zone. That's a 32. This is the one with the double, um, double snake bros. I don't know what this one is. We'll have to check it out. That double snake bros is going to be hard. Hey, John, welcome. I've only been live like 10 minutes. You haven't really missed anything. Yeah, don't buy anything that says that says it's designed for gamers. Don't buy anything with lights. Because you're just paying for lights. Yeah, if you're if you're comfortable building your own computer, part it out. 
so much cheaper. Yeah, in a case with a window. I look over at my computer case, it has a window in it. That's okay, I think my computer case was like 70 bucks. Save these for the trail. Actually, no, I think mine was 100, but... I got it because it's extra wide. Fat joke? No, my computer my computer case is extra wide. It just is. It's it's like one and a half times the normal thickness of a computer case. No joke. I forget the model number, but it's a Corsair something. I got it because I like, I liked, I used it once a long time ago, and I liked how, like, half the components are put behind the motherboard. Yeah, that's it. Air 5. Yeah, it's Corsair Air 540. Really good case. But it's not our business, is it? We've got enough to be worried about. I love this bit. The guy left? Well, he started a conversation, so we're gonna keep talking about it. <laughs> Alright, see you later, Legasus. So the case is easily upgradable? Yeah, absolutely. There's tons of room. The only thing in front of the motherboard is... Uh, the motherboard... It's the motherboard and the video card. Everything else is behind it. Or underneath it, depending on how you're looking at the case. But you get the idea. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite... Streamer. On Twitch. Hey, Legasis, thanks for the gift sub, man. That is super awesome. Thank you very much. See you later, man. Take it easy. Alright, how do I get up there? I'm going the wrong way, that's for sure. This way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now how do I get up there? 
come closer. Pick it up. What are these broadheads? me. Where the hell do I climb up from? Well, there's that. Is it this? Looks like there's grips here. Ah, here we go, here we go. So it was actually right next to the bridge. Well, that's unfortunate. No, yellow's not really a big thing. I'm used to looking for these now, but I just didn't see them. <gasps> oh, don't do that. Where's the view? The pocket shit storm tour, day nine. I was setting up my tent right here when Wyatt's call came through. I came as fast as I could, but we'd already slipped into a coma. We never got a chance to say goodbye. Look figure all the way out here. Okay. Well, these are my last few figures that are on the uh, in the jungle area of the map. So let's come get these. Where the hell am I? Oh, I'm right here. Well, that's not that far. Yeah, 500 away. No big deal.
The Apocalypse Ship Storm? No, I don't know what that is. I'm assuming at some point you learn all this stuff. But I'm fine with it taking a while. Keep in mind I've not been doing much of the story recently, so. Never know when I might need these. I do plan on continuing that very shortly though. Aren't I over 75% complete? Who the, where the heck did you see that? No. <laughs> Not anywhere close to that. I think the last time I checked I was 40? Easy. Yeah, I don't know what the percentage thing is counting. I don't even remember how I checked it. Was it under notebook? Oh, 56. Game progression. It looks like it counts everything. Main, side, errands, outfits, weapons, collectibles, activities. It looks like it's counting everything. overall completion. Oh, it deselected the Banook figure. I keep forgetting it does that. Oh, that's nice. Glad I stopped for a bit. So yeah, that's overall completion. I'm pretty sure that's the same voice actor who voiced Lee in The Walking Dead. Sounds very Aaron familiar. Said to meet him at the Sun Palace. That might be the time. There's a lot of that. That is definitely something I will not be 100, 100 percenting. Is all the logs, all the lore <laughs> stuff. That's I'm definitely not going to do all that. <laughs> you want? Oh, he just sells like rare equipment. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, I assumed I'd get all the audio ones, but all these text-based ones, yeah, I'm not even gonna hunt those down. Like, even if they're like, here's a map of all their locations, I'm gonna be like, nah, I'm good. I'm not even reading them, so... I know there's a lot of lore in them, and it's probably super interesting, it's just... Ain't nobody got time for that. 
I know there's another path out of the city. I just don't know how to freaking get to it. Oh, it's this way. Okay. Is it this way? No, it's behind me. Jesus. The way the arrow points compared to Aloy and the camera is super weird. Sun Palace. Well, I mean, I guess if it triggers when I get over here, it's fine. No one goes into the palace without an invitation. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King. Where we should be, without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you. The machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Oseram get special treatment, and now Outlanders from a savage interest could the Sun King have in her. Passed by some Outlander woman? Unacceptable. I've been here for two hours, and Miss Nora goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osara. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osoram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osoram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asaran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons, 
and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies, I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. Oh no. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem... Very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too. I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans in the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. Hmm. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. How do I leave? Okay. Oh, why you gotta do that? No, show me the notebook. What's it called? Data point 9 of 18. Data point. Text data points. That's it. There's not 18 of those. Scanned glyphs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is it. If that wasn't it, it's the game's fault.
Oh, they're in... This is 10 of 18. How the fuck am I supposed to know what order that is? Okay. Looks like a list of all the, uh... All the Sun Kings, maybe? I think it was this one? Founding a Meridian? Yeah, a scribe's book of, of carefully copied glyphs. This is the one. Alright, how the hell do I... My left. Oh, is it at the bottom? Don't ask me where to go if you're lost. I'm a guard, not the town crier. How do I get there? an elevator around here? Huh. Alright, well, I guess we're not going that way. What did you want to talk about? You were an outlander, no? An adventurer. I used to be one myself. I admit, I miss the beguiling colors of the wilds. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special kind of flower. It's made of metal, like a machine. Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. Ah, let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. I don't have a full set of any of it. Okay. Till we meet again, my noble Nora. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. Jaw lands, rock breaker lands. Sure, why not? Let's buy these. Blue, blue gleam sounds interesting. They don't exist. special resources
crafting? Trading with merchants. Huh. A precious blue tinted crystal valuable to merchants. Could be valuable. And the machine won't miss it. Blue green is a rare and valuable thing. Trade it to merchants that are blue for extremely powerful weapons and armor. Ooh. All right. What did you want to discuss? You're an outlander, which is good. But a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the old ones like many in your tribe? No, although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels emblazoned with symbols of the old ones? They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. Yes, yes, trade quickly. I have work to do. Hey, I have one, one full set. Cool. I will leave you to the hunt. Perhaps your travels have taken you through ancient ruins? Okay, so a lot of money and some, uh, some like medium quality mods. Oh, well, there's the elevator. I guess I'll just come around the south side and go like that. I have no idea where the hell this thing goes. Maybe I'll come and investigate it later. Yeah, there's some missions over here. y'all slowest elevator ever this is slower than mass effect elevators holy crap for the resub, man. What have you been up to? I hope your day has gone better. You're at home instead of working? Well, that sucks. You didn't get into a third truck? About time. They were probably like, please stop top stop touching the trucks. Just go home. You're gonna break more shit. Please keep. Yeah, you're like, no, I'll wait for one of the other two trucks to get fixed. <laughs> That'd have been sweet if you had driven around one of the new trucks, but...
I mean, let's be fair. You didn't blow the motor. You were just there when it happened. <laughs> it's not like you were peeling out or anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You were trying to run donuts in the thing. You have one of the, uh, one of the vendor repair shops near you. You just take it back to them and say, fix your fucking truck. <laughs> Sold us a shitty truck, man. The engine exploded. What the hell? like one of those Banuke sculptures. Oh, did... So the new one was a Freightliner? Or the two new vehicles were one Kenworth, one Freightliner? Sure, you you drive a Kenworth normally, don't you? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Don't jump in, jump over. Oh no. Also ancient debris, so who knows which one it is. Not that one. Last metal flower down here. Yeah, it's the last collectible. Sweet. It's like the timing chain slipped on it or something. Freightliner, am I right? <laughs> oh, man.
What's wrong with your with your truck? Well, he said he wanted to talk, and then I get over here, and he doesn't want to talk to me. Just batting a thousand. Are you the guy that wanted to talk to me? No? Okay, bye. Gave me a reward box? I didn't even notice. Yeah, that's got to be right there. I think that's the one that was right there. Wow, good luck for me figuring out how to get up there. Jesus. going to loot the equipment stash. I don't know what you mean. You say that like it's a thing that I should be aware of? I have no earthly idea what you're talking about. Yes, I will. It's, it's, it's selecting the default, like, main quest line. And it really wants me to go do it. I, I just haven't looked at that area in hours and hours of playing. That's funny. Yes, eventually. Oh yeah, I'm I'm over leveled for a lot of things now. Quick way down. I'm over leveled for most stuff. Okay, that's the level 34 corrupted zone. I should come get these two because. That'll be the furthest this way. There's collectibles. Really, I've just got this corner now, which is really good. All right, so let's go get that vantage. Whenever the game gets too easy, I can up the difficulty. No, thanks.
I still struggle with Thunderjaws, Stormbirds, and I'm assuming the DLC has introduced another top tier level enemy. So, I'll be fine. I like being dominant. I enjoy leveling my character up to the point where they're wrecking face. It makes me feel more like a, you know, like a hero that's coming into their own kind of thing. I've built up my skill to a point where only a few things are a risk. Oh, I never play games on, on hard anymore. The only game I really enjoyed playing on a higher difficulty was Mass Effect, and that's because I had played it so often that even on uh, Insanity or whatever the highest level of difficulty was, it wasn't that much harder. You know, if I played Horizon, you know, seven or eight times in a row, maybe I'll, I would be interested in playing on a harder difficulty, but... Nah, not right now. Man, Aloy's a good swimmer. I would have passed out by now. <laughs> That's one of my favorite um, events to watch in the Olympics is like the, God, what's, I forget the name. It's like the mar the, the swimming equivalent of the marathon. It's like a 10,000 meter or something. They go back and forth in the pool like, like 50 times or something. It's insane. that monster noise? Uh, that's the snap maw. The giant crocodile. There's like three or four of them down there. Keep quiet now. Where are they? There they are. It's that guy. at Wyatt's cottage. I went out walking along the water. I was standing right here when the idea hit me. And the moment it did, I knew I had to do it. You had to poop. Maybe the sequel will have sharks. But I agree, that would be really sweet. Oh god, I have to get up there?
defend me. 